Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be comparing Polkadot versus Cardano versus Ethereum. The crypto market has been changing rapidly. A few years back, Ethereum was the number one choice for numerous developers of applications. Many people chose this over Bitcoin since it's more developer-focused and tech-oriented. More serious projects have come up over the years that could be better than Ethereum. Some of them include Polkadot and Cardano. Which blockchain is better? That's what we'll be talking about today. By the end of the video, you should have a better understanding of the benefits of each blockchain. For better understanding, let us begin with an overview of each blockchain, starting with Ethereum. Since Ethereum was introduced, it has become quite popular among many developers. This was among the first blockchains to offer better functionality for the development of fintech solutions. Some developers, however, criticized Ethereum with claims that it's too slow, too limiting, and too inefficient. Such issues are what led to the development of a better version referred to as Ethereum 2.0. We will go back a bit before we look at how this version tries to resolve such issues. Generation 1 of the blockchain, known as Bitcoin, was launched back in 2009. This became the first digital currency to come up with a way that people could transfer value from any part of the world. Satoshi Nakamoto Bitcoin did a good job of creating a digital ledger, known as a blockchain. This was designed to record Bitcoin transactions. Though Bitcoin has some good features, such as decentralized trust, it is inefficient and also limited. The next step to be introduced was referred to as Ethereum, or Generation 2. This was conceived by a programmer known as Vitalik in 2013, and introduced by various developers, including Gavin Wood. It is a decentralized, open-source blockchain that allows for the exchange of NFTs. This blockchain, however, has its own issues. For instance, it can handle 30 transactions per second, and it uses a proof-of-work model. The team that came up with Ethereum started implementing upgrades to resolve the blockchain's issues. This is what led to the introduction of Ethereum 2.0. This is better than the original version, in that it has better speed and offers scalability. Ethereum 2.0 can process 100,000 transactions per second. Now let us look at the next blockchain, which is Polkadot. This blockchain was introduced by one of the co-founders of Ethereum, known as Gavin Wood. He felt that Ethereum design was limited and therefore came up with Polkadot. Most clients that seek fintech solutions choose Polkadot over other blockchains due to its approach to network infrastructure. This blockchain platform makes use of a system where validators do mining. Polkadot has a unique feature known as parachains. It is different from other cryptos in that it allows app developers to come up with their own blockchains. The blockchains can communicate with other blockchains. Due to the unique design of this blockchain, it is able to address most of the issues that other blockchains have been having in the past. It also offers lots of advanced security solutions and scalability. Polkadot is a POS blockchain that is famous for its flexible infrastructure. When it comes to speed, Polkadot is capable of handling only 1,000 transactions per second. However, it cannot match the speed of Cardano. The main goal of Polkadot is to decentralize the web to give users more control of things. This blockchain plans to achieve this by allowing users to create connections between various chains, including both public and private. By allowing blockchains to interact with one another, Polkadot will enable different applications like DeFi. The number of active developers on this blockchain has been increasing every month since it was launched. This blockchain also uses proof of stake instead of proof of work. In proof of stake, individual notes are chosen to confirm if transactions and new coins are valid. Using a proof-of-stake enables Polkadot to offer higher scalability than both Bitcoin and Ethereum. The use of proof-of-stake also minimizes high power consumption. The next blockchain that we will look at is Cardano. This is another blockchain project that was founded by a mathematician known as Charles Hoskinson in 2014. He was also among the co-founders of Ethereum. Just like Polkadot, Cardano always has a way of connecting with other chains through its proof-of-stake model, known as Ouroboros, this is an in-house consensus algorithm that Cardano uses to elect slot leaders. Cardano is also based on proof of stake, which makes it better than other blockchains. Unlike Bitcoin, Cardano requires less energy than blockchains based on proof of work. This blockchain's proof of stake system not only allows you to maintain consensus in a single blockchain, but it can also be used across different blockchains. Ouroboros can therefore allow you to scale vertically and horizontally as you add more blockchains to a consensus model. Apart from that, Cardano also stands out since it can handle up to a million transactions per second. We mentioned that Cardano uses proof of stake. 
this is a good alternative to proof of work, which was the initial consensus algorithm that was used with the blockchain technology. While proof of work needs a lot of energy, proof of stake requires less energy. Proof of stake is more energy efficient since it minimizes the total energy usage by 99%. Reducing the cost of energy also leads to less gas fees. The aim of Cardano is to be a scalable blockchain that can help in the programming of smart contracts. Cardano is programmed in a programming language known as Haskell. Since this fits data analytics and business applications, Cardano is expected to suit applications in organizational and financial sectors in the future. Another benefit of this blockchain is low transaction fees. The goal of Cardano is to offer an upgraded network for dApp development. So, now that you understand what each blockchain is about, you may be wondering how they compare and which crypto is better than the other. We will discuss their differences, focusing on the following three key factors. The first one is speed and scalability. This is one of the distinguishing factors between these three blockchains. Ethereum 2.0 can handle up to 100,000 transactions per second. On the other hand, Polkadot can handle up to 1,000 transactions per second. When it comes to speed, Cardano has the edge over the two blockchains, since it can process up to a million transactions each second. Note that normally Cardano does not process this number of transactions, since it does not need to. This blockchain is designed to scale its speed as it adds users. In terms of speed, Cardano is still the clear winner. When it comes to scalability, Cardano offers immediate scalability, and is better than both Ethereum and Polkadot. Cardano offers at least two architectural levels, while Ethereum is based on a one-layer design. Unique features. Apart from the speed, these blockchains also differ in terms of their unique features. Of the three, Polkadot stands out since it has a unique feature known as parachains. This lets app developers come up with their own customizable blockchains. Since the blockchains are interoperable, they can easily communicate with other blockchains. The aim of Polkadot is to decentralize the web. Compared to both Ethereum and Cardano, Polkadot offers a more flexible infrastructure with a network of blockchains under one umbrella. On the other hand, Cardano connects with other chains through its algorithm known as Ouroboros. Cardano also has more advanced security features than Ethereum. The use of parachains makes Polkadot the clear winner in this category. Future Potential Now, you may be wondering how ambitious are these blockchain plans. At this point, Ethereum 2 seems to be the only crypto with future plans. In December 2020, Ethereum 2.0 launched phase zero of a multi-phase rollout plan. This involved implementing proof of stake as a model. It also has other plans which might be implemented in the future, such as phase one, phase 1.5, and phase two. For instance, phase two will implement the eWASM interface, while phase one will launch 64 sidechains. Blockchains developed on Polkadot go through a preparatory environment known as Kusama. This allows the testing of work in real life conditions to launch a properly functioning project. Polkadot's future plan is to complete the auction system with Kusama. This blockchain also has laid out its other plans on its website, such as finishing up a government structure and running it. Of the three blockchains, Cardano seems to be the furthest along in its plans. Cardano's roadmap includes foundation, decentralization, small contracts, scaling, and governance. It hopes to finish its roadmap successfully by 2025. We choose Cardano as the clear winner in this category, followed by Polkadot, than Ethereum. Cardano has lots of advantages that enable it to secure a strong position in blockchain technology. It is powered by two-layer architecture, is capable of handling up to a million transactions per second, and features Ouroboros, which solves issues like high gas fees, energy consumption, and throughput. Of all the three blockchains, it is therefore safe to choose Cardano as the best. Polkadot comes in second due to its developer-friendly ecosystem design. That's it for today's video guys, let us know what you think of the blockchains in the comments section below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.